Let's do it. This is how you watch Hey, this is how you watch Hey, keeping the faith in the king, and the patience will give us a free. Praying for a spouse. So, what do you need to do to get yourself ready for a husband or wife? Okay? And this could even be applied in your current marriage now. You know, because again, the scriptures, right? They're there for reproof, for correction, for hope, for comfort. All right? But praying for a spouse. Is praying for a spouse according to God's will? Brothers. Yes? No? Yes. Yes? What scripture would you use? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, Scrooge. I just want a wife. <laughs> My other head tells me it's righteous. <laughs> Listen. Go to Genesis 2 and 18. So now you know when someone, when you, when someone says, Can I pray for a husband or wife? This is the scripture you go to. The book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. God said it's not good that man should be alone. Alright, go ahead. I will make him and help me for him. He will make him a help me for him. The scripture says we should be like that. Alright? Uh, what's the other scripture that says that's how he made them male and female two and two? It, it, it was made to be that way. Alright, is the point that I'm making. So that in and of itself shows you that it's righteous. God said it's not good that man should be alone. Alright? What's one of the reasons for that? I, I joked about, right? I said, the other head says it's not, it's good. It's actually scriptural, right? Go to 1 Corinthians 72. I don't just say things to say. Sometimes I do. Let me just take that back. Sometimes I do. I don't just say things to say to all right. it, 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 it all leads to, to the Most High's will. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. So I have a question, brothers. Let's say a brother doesn't do something right in the course of marriage, right? He doesn't follow the guidance. And he, and he lays with the sister or commits some sort of sexual act with her prior to them getting married. But they get married. Is that considered adultery? I want to see hands. I want to see who, who's... Ask, ask the question. Ask the question again, Kevin. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, Martez. I saw your hand up first. Stand up, stand up. Give him a mic. No, 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 no. Give him a mic. Give him a mic. Give him a mic. Do you say it's considered adultery or fornication? Is it considered adultery? I gotta ask the question again. Yeah. A brother and sister are talking to each other. They commit a sexual act together, but eventually they get married. Whether it's a few months or whatever it might be, things get situated. He does wind up taking her. I would say fornication. I would. Okay. All right. Okay. So you say it's funny, but so it's not adultery. My question was, is it adultery? I'm gonna say no. No. Okay. All right. So wait. Stand back up. You're not done. So now. The brother married her like the scripture commanded, right? Is the fornication forgiven? Yeah. Yes. Why? Right. Right. Yeah. Because they got married. Okay. You, All right. you get, what's the scripture? <laughs> see, because see, but this is how we build leaders. Because you're gonna have to do counsels on things like this. You're gonna have brothers and sisters that may feel some type of weight over situations. And that's why the scriptures have to prove it. The scripture says prove all things. And you have to shut down whatever it is that they will falsely believe in. Right? Right. Okay. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 28. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lie hold on her, and lie with her, and they be found... Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he hath humbled her. He may not put her away all his days. Now also give me the twenty-two sixteen. So it's telling you the commandment is basically if that does happen, right? Obviously we teach the proper understanding of marriage, it shouldn't be that way. 
you should wait until you get the papers and stuff, all right? If that does happen, it says he shall surely endow her to be your wife. Right. And if that does happen, here's the precept. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. There's the precept. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, what does that mean? Don't call out. Stand up. If a man entice a maid... I know I'm not... I See, the, the marriage thing. I know I'm not going to get through it. I'm not going to get through it. Because I, I want to do the questions and I want to make sure you men have the understanding. And, and you sisters, by seeing the brothers answer and stuff like that, y'all get the understanding. So that's cool. It's what it is. Marriage is always one of those things that it takes time to go over. All right? Go ahead. Uh, what's your, your, what's your asking? What does betrothed mean? No, entice. It says, uh, if, if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, explain that. So they entice her the whole thing? Explain that whole sentence. Okay. If a man entice, uh, so if you're like, uh... What's the word entice mean? Entice to like draw her into lust after you. Like that. No, not draw her into lust after you. Just Wait, oh, when you were in the world, I'm going to say in the world, right? Because I know you don't do that now because you focused on the laws of the most high. All right? When you wanted to talk to a girl, what would you do? What would I do? Yeah. I would go up to her. And do what? And just look at her? Just look at her? <laughs> you spit some game, right? There you go. You spit right. some game. Right? Right. Really bad, so what is, what is spitting game? Huh? Spitting game is enticing. Okay. Right? You trying to get her to be like, to it, like, like like the birds in the wilderness and they come up and they puff themselves up and stuff like that, right? Peacock. Right, like a peacock that spreads its feathers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got the entice part. All right. Go ahead. So it uh, <laughs> that entice a maid that entice so, a maid that is not betrothed. Okay. That is not uh married or um has sex. Or what if the sister's talking to another brother? She's talking to them. Yeah, let's say another brother's be like, yo, I'm talking to the sister. Like when you say brother, do you mean Let's say let's brother? say let's say brother Samuel gets up and oh. says, Hey, I'm uh, I just want to announce, you know, me and the sister are, are kind of talking to each other right now. And if you're the enticer? What's the question? The about? patrol. What does it mean to be patrol? Because oh, you uh, said uh, two uh, of the answers, but uh, not the third. Like, All right. Uh, okay. So should another okay. brother, if, a, if if Samuel's talking to his sister, is the point that I'm making, okay. and you like her, should you be interjecting in that? Even if they're not married, they haven't done nothing with each other. Should you be trying to jump up in there and entice her? Not at all. Not at all. No, right. That's the point that I'm making. Right? It's disrespectful. Exactly. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. You good? Go ahead. Continue. And if a man entice a maid that is not patrol and lie with her. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. That's a future tense word, right? It's an actionable word. Did it say that if he lies with her, she's his wife? No, it says he shall surely endow her to be his wife. Go ahead, what's your question? Is that kind of necessarily claiming the person? You what? Like, like lying? What? No, like, no. Dude, the caveman? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I got you so first. The question that you asked was uh, Elijah. So it's pretty much almost claiming this person. Like if I got up and said, hey. Listen, so you're, you're basically saying you're making it known right. so that you avoid another brother trying to come up and talk to the sister too. And everybody knows, and now you get some guidance in the thing. That's what we tell you, brothers. First, seek counsel about it. Hey, I'm thinking of talking to this sister. Sisters, I'm thinking of talking to you. We might know things about that brother that you don't know. Right, it's to be nosy. It's, it's because we want to make sure that if it's, it's it's you know what you're getting into and vice versa, and we're gonna let y'all know. Look, he may or may not be ready. Right. He may or may not be ready. Right. right, right. We don't want we want y'all to have a happy marriage. We don't want to have you up here every other weekend with counsels. Right. That just goes into keeping all things decent and in order. That, that's what that is. You don't want. The sister are in here talking to five different brothers. That's that's what I mean. Yeah, because you know what? Yeah. We can give you whatever advice. You can do all that, and then you still could do. You might still do whatever the hell you want anyway. Yeah, and then it's but, but but at least we've at least we've worked it out. You know, unless you repent. So the point that I'm really trying to get to, all right? Because the question that I asked was, if a brother and sister are talking, right, and they happen to commit a sexual act together, and they wind up getting married, have they kept the law? Have they fulfilled the law? Based on what? Based upon, uh, Stand up and say it loud. Based upon Deuteronomy 22 and 28 and Exodus 22 and 16. Right. Because the act was finished. Right. So, so maybe if it wasn't done right, we might judge the brother or sister for a while. And say, you know what? You didn't do it according to everything else, like it says in Tobit and everything. But you know what? 
You guys want to be together? Yes. Okay. Once you get the thing situated, then you'll be restored because the law was kept. Is there any scripture that says they still need to be judged? They got married. So they might have messed up along the way. And I'm not saying y'all should go and do that. But they got married. It's fine. All is forgiven. What reason do we have to keep a brother or sister down? Listen to this clip, then I'm going to make a statement. How are we looking, Abel? Okay. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, and verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. All right, so I went to that scripture, but it says God's not the author of confusion. So now, based on that same scenario that the captain brought out, did that not happen with Joseph and Mary? Hey, hey, you're in the spirit, because that was going to be my next thing to say. I'm sorry. What's right? No, do it. Did that not happen with Joseph and Mary? Right. Were they judged and they never got prepared? The, the, the most I blessed them with Christ. No, and what did they, he says, basically, it's not sin. Right, because Joseph it's was feeling Joseph was feeling some type of way. And, and they, why was he feeling some way? Because he knew he didn't do it right. Right, exactly. But he said, listen, for this purpose, right. for this particular, don't mean all things. Right, don't mean all things. Because y'all ain't giving birth to Christ. Yeah, y'all ain't Joseph. Y'all ain't married. Okay? All right. For you, don't worry about it. Be easy. Right. All right? Right. But the scriptures that we just read also show you that there's mercy. Okay? But you better do it right. And if the brother and sister do it right, then that's it. Right. And that should be the end of the story. This goes back to what I was saying in Romans 9. We have this thing where we want our will to be exerted on things. You gotta, it's up to the Lord. It's all of the most high. Shalom, this is, I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.